At Pixar, our mission is to make stories that entertain. So our focus is on creating world-class animation that's unique and forwards the story. Pixar has been doing animation as a company since 1995, when our first feature film came out, Toy Story. And we've been pretty much creating an animated feature every year since then. Check this out. Our latest feature is Elemental, which will be our 27th film. We run a little hot. One of the important things to realize is that it's the story and the animation that dictates our pace of innovation here at Pixar. We have some of the most talented storytellers in the world, and they come up with concepts that nobody's ever thought of. And so our technology needs will be dependent on what this story is calling for. In 2018, we first met with Vast. There was a movie coming out called Soul, in which some of the characters were what we call volumetric characters. In other words, they weren't traditional models. Instead, they were simulations. This was pretty problematic for us, mainly because what we call file caching. If you have, say, Woody in a shot, and you have Buzz in a shot, they're a model, and then they have some texture on it, and they're in every single shot. The model and the texture does not change. However, with volumetric characters, it's a simulation. Each frame of each character is independent and different from the one before it. So our traditional methods weren't gonna work. Come on, guys, we all knew this day was coming. We had to come up with a new solution that allowed us to have high-speed flash access to our data. And Vast had this great proposition that allowed us to get the performance we needed and the capacities we needed in order to support this new volumetric pipeline. It worked out so good that production then came to us before the end of Seoul and said, hey, we have this other idea. It's gonna be like Seoul, but it's gonna be three times bigger. Can we do it? Without hesitation, I said, yeah, we could do it. We got the technology now, we can scale it. It's not a matter of implementing something new, it's just a matter of making it bigger. We proceeded to work with our production teams and work with Vast and built a bigger cluster. Now we were able to render all of Elemental's characters. They also wanted some set pieces to be volumetric. They were wrong, though, in that they said it would be three times bigger than Seoul, and it ended up being six times bigger than Seoul. At the end of the day, the vast system came through. You see? He likes it! <laughs> we had 160,000 render cores hitting against it all at once, and the system worked flawlessly. VAST is allowing us to put all of our rendered assets on this one cluster of storage. And it offers us the ability to use these petabytes of data as training data for future AIs. We have already moved all our denoising data and finals and takes data set into the VAST cluster, specifically because of the potential AI might have in the future. When I met with the founders of Vast that first time, I was blown away by how they had not only the answers to how they were gonna fix all our problems, but they actually understood the engineering required to fix those problems. It's been fantastic working with Vast over these last four years. <laughs> we did it, we did it. <laughs> the Vast platform has allowed us to build beyond our current level of animation into future levels of animation that nobody's even thought of. To infinity and beyond!